My name is Patrice Pistorjanig. I'm speaking to you from beautiful Northern California. It's a gorgeous spring day. And I'm honored to be part of the conversation about the power of instinct. The power of your instinct, the power of my instinct. I'll talk a little bit about what instinct means to me and how it put me on my life path, my life purpose. For me, instinct is the natural state of being. It's our connection through our heart or through our inner self connection to all that is that leads us in the right direction. It's almost like it's spontaneous. It doesn't take thought. It doesn't take weighing one option against the other. It doesn't take any form of ego or um, input from the brain. It just is. And I think instinct is a very, very powerful force in our lives that helps us to move forward, to flow forward when we act upon it and listen to it. And when we don't, it just makes our, our life becomes maybe a little more difficult until we get back in the flow, back to listening, to recognizing when instinct is speaking to us. Um, when I think of uh, instinct, I think of the natural state of being of nature. Uh, we just had, about six months ago, um, horrendous wildfires in Northern California, Southern California, oh, Australia, and the park adjacent to me here. We went over there when we were able to come back to our uh, neighborhood after being evacuated, and the park and the trees were black. The air was filled with smoke, and it felt like it would never, ever come back and be better than it was before. And actually now, only six months later, I was up in the park noticing the grass was green, the flowers were blooming, some of the trees that looked like they were totally dead were sprouting new growth. And nature is pure instinct. The trees didn't think about how they were going to come back. The flowers didn't say, what color am I going to be today? Would I like to come back as something else? They just come back by the pure power of nature. And I think that nature is a, uh, getting back to nature is a real gift that allows us to be more in touch with our instinct. So that's something that I think is really important that has happened since that, what looked like a tragedy, was the appreciation of nature and being in nature and being connected and a part of nature. The current situation with the um, pandemic going around worldwide, which seemed, uh, seems to me to bring us so many blessings. We have grown up in a society that has become increasingly disconnected with technology and computers and um, you know, just technology basically and the way of life and um, striving to succeed and make money and having a war like nature, one person against the other, if you get it, I can't have it. And all those attitudes that we have had, to me, this is a turning point where um, all of that can change. I think that being socially isolated and socially disconnected, physically disconnected, has brought forth in us the craving to be more connected, to appreciate the connections we have, to look inside and reevaluate what our real purpose is, what are our real values, what's important to us, what's important to the planet. Another blessing of this is that the earth is being cleansed. The earth is coming back into balance, not being um, affected so much by what its humans have done to it. So what that has to do with instinct is that it's just that I think that when things are not flowing as they should, that, that gives, something will happen that gives us the opportunity to look deeper inside and look at our instinct and look at our um, where we're going with our life path, with the world's path. And I'm really grateful for what's happening right now. There's so much more time to contemplate, to appreciate, 
and to recognize our pr true purpose and especially as um, reconnected healing practitioners that we have been given been given a huge gift of carrying this incredible light and information that is transferred from person to person we have a huge responsibility right now to live in our instinct and our power and our light and share that with as many people as we can. This is not something to be kept to ourselves, it's something to be shared. So with that said, because that's what's really on my mind today, um, but I do wanna tell you how the power of, of instinct brought me to the point in my life, which is reconnected healing. Uh, which when I say that, I mean my life is reconnected healing. Um, so going back to like, uh, I, have, I have a story and um, I'll just briefly run it by. Uh, I'll do it as briefly as I can. Um, when I was a teenager, I was diagnosed with a severe scoliosis. The doctor wanted to put me in a contraption called a Milwaukee brace. And it was just that hold your neck up and it's a metal thing. I didn't accept that I was going to be in that brace and I did everything I could to keep out of it. And actually, um, worked really hard to maintain my uh, curve in my spine. It was a 29 degree S curve and a rotation, which is pretty significant. But I managed to stay out of that. And that, that physical uh, limitation, I was able to work through that and function through college. And then I ended up on state disability while well, they were assisting me to get a career that I could do with this, this limitation. And they helped me go to court reporting college. Why they ever put me in that position, I don't know, because it was very difficult to be sitting all day with that curved spine and one arm wouldn't go uh, go back. It curved the wrong way and um, it was really uncomfortable. And, uh, and on, on that path, um, I was not listening to my instinct. I was being influenced by uh, what other people said I should be doing. For example, you need to go to college. I had always just wanted to be an artist and or a teacher. I didn't need to go to college, but I did because that's what I was supposed to do. I wanted to be an art major, but no, I went into business administration because that's where the money was, that's where you're gonna get a good job. As life unfolded, and I'm sure my instinct had a little bit to do with this, but I, uh, decided that I was going to change colleges and in that process uh, in that, the summer in between I went up to Alaska on an adventure with a girlfriend and um, my transcripts that were supposed to be being shipped to another uh, college that I was transferring to got lost in the mail somehow so I had the opportunity to do something different and I did become the, a court reporter I went to college for that and uh, that was more of a natural for me. I was really good at it. Um, and I liked it until it was, I was put into the real world with it and the stresses and the pressure and working and working and working and everyone saying what a great job it is and how much money you're making. And I, I did that for many years. In the 90s, it was getting to be that I was in, in constant pain. Uh, other things were going in my, on in my life that I was um, not in the greatest of spaces. I was depressed. I was in pain. I was taking p sleeping pills to sleep and antidepressants and pain pills and other just trying to get through life day by day. And it got to the point where if this was what all that was left, this is what life was. I was just like, I don't even want to be here anymore. Um, there was no luster. There was no spark. There was no, you know, no excitement for life. Uh, and I had to make a decision that I was going to, to find a way to make myself better. And so I guess it was my instinct that led me to a, a talk given at a bookstore by this doctor that was teaching healing. And no, it wasn't Dr. Eric Pearl, it was someone else. And I signed up for that seminar. And not, oh, I don't know, a couple days later, I got a phone call from my older sister who had always had been trying to uh, help me with my suffering over the years, trying different different ways. And she told me that that guy that we had, we had looked him up back in 1994, 95, uh, Dr. Eric Pearl, uh, we never did see him back then, but now she had heard him on the radio and he was going to be teaching a, um, 
healing seminar in San Francisco coming up in a month or two. And she told me the dates and I said, no, I'm busy that I'm taking this other course I've already signed up for and my I can't do it at that time. So you go have a good time and I'll, we can talk about it later. And uh, so a couple days later, I go out to my mailbox here in front of the house and I remember pulling out the mail and there was a brochure in there and it um, it was for a course on uh, on healing with Dr. Eric Pearl. My sister had sent it to me and I remember picking that piece of paper up out of the, the mailbox and walking up the driveway and I had no intention whatsoever to go to this um, healing seminar with Dr. Pearl and the next thing you know apparently my instinct had kicked in big time and uh, I accessed a larger part of myself, a bigger part of myself that knew what I was supposed to be doing and knew what was right for me and I don't think that my instinct was going to let my conscious mind get in the way. So I remember the next thing was being on the phone with my sister, telling her, okay, I've changed everything, I'm going to that seminar with you, with Dr. Pearl in San Francisco. So we did. And uh, I ended up being a demonstration on stage of someone who had a physical disability, a limited range of motion, along with another, another lady who had the same uh, condition that I did, which is quite remarkable, remarkable because there were 83 people in the class and two of us had that same condition. Anyway, coincidence? I think not. Anyway, we were up on stage and Eric was waving his hands around and uh, when he was done, he asked the other lady to check to see if she had any change and she did not. And so I thought, aha, I was right. Uh, this is not real. This is just <laughs> really, come on, wave your hands around and somebody's gonna have a actual physical healing. Uh, well, he asked me to check my range of motion and Oh my God, oh, my arm went up behind my back. It had, hadn't done that since as long as I could remember. And it felt like everything kind of just straight, had straightened out and oh my God, it was like I was, my body just had shifted. And, uh, and then the next day when I woke up, I realized, I didn't realize that, that this right away, but the pain was gone. And I have been basically <clears throat> pain free since then. And that's been, 21 years and um, you know little aches and pains and different pains from injuries and normal things but not that not that scoliosis pain not the, that that same pain the neck and shoulders and all that back and um, anyway so uh, that's what started all this the my little box that I was living in my all my things that I thought were life was and the limits of life were the sides of my blocks were blown out and anything was possible. If that could happen to me, anything could happen to anyone. It was unreal. I couldn't get enough of um, videos. Yes, we had videos back then. And we had cassette tapes, listened to a lot of cassette tapes and, and books and lots and lots of books. And just everything was so exciting. There was, a, there was so much more to, to the universe, the world than I'd ever, I, I thought it was just amazing. It was just amazing. It was so exciting. Life was so exciting again. And uh, long story short, ended up um, being asked to go on a tour with Dr. Pearl. Um, I can't remember what year it was, but his assistant had been injured and they needed someone to go travel with, um, with Eric. And, <clears throat> and I did that. I didn't think about it when I was asked. It was pure instinct once again. Gut feeling, heart saying, I love this work. I want to do this. Yes. Do you know how to be a public speaker, Patrice? No. Do you know what you're getting into? No. <laughs> did you think about this? No. And I did it, and I'm so glad I did. So that led to you know traveling the world for many years with Dr. Pearl and the world worldwide teaching team, and so many adventures and travels, and meeting so many fabulous people, and sharing this light with the world. And um, had it not been for my instinct taking over and knocking my little pea brain out of the way, I wouldn't be here today being able to be in this position to um, be the light, be the, the powerful instinct of light and information and the expanded self that I am today. So once again, Reconnected Healing is, is um, 
is is a life. It is a, a way of being. It is accessing that higher part, that bigger part of ourselves, that expanded part of ourselves. That is all that is touching that truth. That it, truth that is our instinct. And I hope that this has um, been an interesting conversation for you. And all of you, I'd love you to be safe and be well, and we'll get through what we're going through, and it'll just be bigger and better on the other side. Mm -hmm.